Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video I am out here on a little bit of a backwoods adventure just kind of checking things out getting a little bit deeper into some of the woods I've been poking around at for the past few weeks. Now as you look here this is a pretty dense area um, you know for the most part the trees aren't too dense but the problem is there are just thorns everywhere so I've been making my way through sort of what looks to be a game trail and really trying to take the path of least resistance so as I mentioned as you can see here just very very dense with all these thorns and then here just a little bit of a defined trail very very faint however it's allowed me to make my way, came from up there, working my way down sort of through this swampy area. And as I continue along this way, well, unfortunately for me, I've come to the end of the road. Or have I? Well, here's the thing. If I could just clear some of this out of the way, I think I could easily make my way along and I can see where that game trail continues on the other side. So the good news for me is here I have the Topps Earth Skills Knife. This is a beautiful blade made out of 1095 high carbon steel with an 8.25 inch cutting edge, eighth inch stock designed by Matt Graham. So this is the big brother to the little bugger. So last year Topps came out with the little bugger, which I happen to have here on my belt but here the earth skills knife now this is going to be absolutely perfect for me to get through that nice scandy grind good and sharp hopefully should be good to hack right through that trail now if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what i'm about to get into do me a favor stay tuned Now, as I mentioned, this is the Topps Earth Skills Knife. It has an overall length of 14.25 inches, a blade length of 8.25 inches, that eighth inch stock 1095 high carbon steel with this beautiful tumbled finish. Now here, a tan micarta, so a tan canvas micarta with these gorgeous black liners just popping off the tang. This knife is not heavy. This has an overall weight of 11.9 ounces. So very, very lightweight. And that is sort of Matt Graham's mantra. The idea that you can have a nice, packable, and quality knife that's actually lightweight for your outdoor excursions. If you know anything about Matt Graham, he is an avid outdoorsman, survivalist, just an athlete all around so for him to have something that's a good quality durable knife capable of doing a ton of work yet lightweight to keep him mobile is definitely key and so here matt's first design with tops this is the little bugger now this little bugger can be a small belt knife pocket carry neck knife whatever you'd like it is very very versatile now the overall length is 5.75 inches with a blade length of 2.38 inches the stock very thin at 0 0.09 inches again 1095 high carbon steel with that beautiful tumbled finish the tan micarta and also the black liners so here just having a nice style a great matched pair just perfect together for some good heavy use and those finer detailed tasks now the sheath system on both of these knives are absolutely wonderful first is the little bugger here you have this small kydex sheath just beautifully done absolutely perfect retention I totally trust this it's a nice slim profile gives you the ability to neck carry this if you wish but for me actually today if you look here tops has this awesome clip now I haven't seen this before on any of their other models this clip is great usually this type of spring clip is very difficult to get off of your belt but if you look at what Topps did, it's brilliant. They put a little tab here that allows you to separate it, so it's very easy to get this on and off webbing, yet it's extremely secure where this is not gonna come off unless you really try to pull this off. So a very secure system, but very easy to remove. 
and it's also versatile so you can carry it either direction up or down you can spin the clip around right hand left hand carry it doesn't matter but for me today what I found is absolutely perfect just on my belt very simple all I'm doing is really just carrying it right on my nylon belt inverted in the vertical position right here on my side it's out of the way I can move around it's nice and easy and light and here it just is very easy to deploy so overall just a great system and I greatly like this now here getting some details on the little bugger this knife absolutely beautiful a Warncliffe style design you end up with some jimping up on top a little notch for striking a ferro rod good overall grind just beautiful scandy grind with a small little micro bevel you end up with a little sharpening choil down here but overall just a gorgeous gorgeous knife that's one thing about tops you can never deny their fit and finish is absolutely wonderful and that is certainly the case here with the little bugger now the handle nicely sculpted beautiful palm swell so as I get into this here just indexing so nicely in my hands you'll see that even with my large hands this fits very very nicely now there is a swell here giving you a good amount of grip indexing just beautifully in my hands and good positive secure lockup overall a very comfortable knife just excellent overall purchase on the blade feels like it's going to do some good quality hard work for me and now here getting into detail with this earth skills knife again just beautifully done absolutely gorgeous that large sweeping belly that should hit pretty hard now it is sort of centrally located on the blade other knives have more of a forward weighted belly but that's what helps keep this feeling nimble in the hand sort of a machete style where it's that thin stock but just a nice sweeping belly this should be a good versatile knife now you're not going to be able to do any hard woods craft use with it like batoning or splitting or really anything like that I'm sure there are techniques that can be used and in fact I will experiment with different techniques to use this to crack wood open and split it but you're not going to be doing any heavy batoning and in fact if you look at Top's website they say specifically heavy batoning and use like that will be considered abuse and void the warranty but overall I don't think you're going to have too many problems with this. If you know anything about tops, they're 1095 and their heat treat is second to none. So you really can't go wrong with this choice of materials. The overall shape being gorgeous, the size of the knife, this handle is spectacular. Absolutely comfortable, fits perfectly in my hands, rounded and sculpted and just feels great. Now similar to the little bugger, I did also put a little pinky lanyard on here just to help with overall purchase and security on the blade while I'm choking back on it and doing some of the chopping tasks. So now this for me is going to be one of those critical things, getting this in the field, getting it out into helping me clear out that path, make it to the other side so I can continue on my journey. But before I do that, just a quick look at the sheath. Again, just a beautiful package overall. Topps does a nice job with their leather work, and that's absolutely the case here with the sheath. This is a good, deep sheath good for a canted belt carry so this is essentially going to sit cross draw on my weak side I'm gonna reach across and cross draw the knife I am right-handed so that will work well for me however if you are left-handed that should work for you as well so good versatile sheath capable of really fitting a couple of different niches um, but for me right now I'm just gonna get this on my belt so I can get to work and you'll see as I set the knife into the sheath good deep ride carry again going back to Matt Graham being that outdoor athletic and active type you do not want to have a possibility for your knife to fall out so having a good deep ride like this is definitely going to be helpful so as I mentioned carrying this here on my weak side you'll see this is rooted nicely through my belt good and secure and easy to draw the knife at this point just easily drawn gets me to work and as I put the knife back in very very simple now in a similar fashion as I mentioned carrying the little bugger here this is easy that I can just maneuver it around get to it as I need again just right back into the sheath and into place and the other thing that's nice is even if I had to right now 
I can just cover it up real quick. I'm in a semi-public place, so the idea that if there were people around and I just wanted to kind of keep this concealed, at least it doesn't look like I have a huge 14-inch knife hanging off of my belt. But at the same time, when I'm ready for action, just kind of pulling this out, getting ready, and now it's time to get to work. Made fairly easy work of that. And I can tell you these are some clean cuts. So as you look here, real nice, deep, clean cuts. Right through, no problem, real smooth. And then here, on this side here, again, look how deep that one cut is, just whoosh, That's like a good, solid, deep inch of bite. Uh, a little bit of cracking on the wood, but that's not the knife's fault. Um, and one branch clearly out of the way. Wow, one, one single swipe. That was almost through. gloves these big gnarly thorns All right, so far so good. I mean, a good amount of work here, you'll see, just opening this up. And I just have some thorns kind of in my way. I just gotta deal with those, but this will give me at least the means to get through here and make it over to the other side. That's really where I wanna try to get. So this is working well, and man, this knife is great. I mean, just long enough to give me the length I need to do some of this work definitely sharp enough to get through some thicker things, light enough and wieldy enough to get through some of the thinner stuff in one or two swipes. So um, this Earth Skills knife so far has been great. So I realize that footage wasn't the most up close and didn't give you the best um, overall visual of the cutting power of this knife. However, what you can see is at this point, I am able to at least make it to my destination so nice and clear just a couple of thorns that i'm working my way through and at this point working my way up and over the rest of the logs and ba boom i mean that was pretty good i mean all things considered that was a, a gnarly mess of stuff that i absolutely had to make it through the knife was comfortable felt great in my hands um, and now I'm into another patch of thorns, uh, but I can get through this. So bear with me a minute and we will continue on this journey. And so after all that, I end up pretty much on an island. I am literally surrounded at this point by water in all directions. This way, maybe not so much but that is so dense with thorns, I'm not even gonna mess with it. 
Um, I was really trying to travel this direction. And as I look a little bit closer here, just a deep, dense mess. I mean, the only thing I could do maybe is travel along that log. I might check it out for a second, but this might be it for the day. So unfortunately, that was a complete dead end. But you know what? Bottom line is, you kind of got to experiment. You got to go out there. You got to try just to poke around and, you know, see if you can find yourself a little slice of land in the middle of nowhere. The only way to do that is to experiment and get out. So, you know what? Two things. One, I'm glad I got out there and tried. But two, it was a real great opportunity to put this earth skills knife to the test. Now, as I look here, just looking at the edge, from what I can tell, absolutely zero damage at all. The grind looks to be still absolutely perfect. Now, feeling the edge still feels very sharp. I'm not gonna say hair popping sharp by any means, um, but definitely nice and sharp and definitely serviceable. I mean, little work on a leather strop and that's gonna be back to perfect. Worst case scenario, just a ceramic rod. But generally speaking, man, this feels great. I love the feel. Good, positive lockup. This thing does not wanna slip out of your hands. That hook right there, probably one of the best. Um, just very, very comfortable. If you look at how my pinky just locks in there and it's not gonna crush your pinky by any means. Just a nice, smooth sweep. Everything just beautifully rounded out. That just feels really good. And the handle, even though it's fairly on the thin side, definitely indexes well. It's tall enough that it gives you a nice grip. It fills out your hand and it feels very, very good. Nice and ergonomic. Now, obviously at this point, I've only done some basic chopping. So there is a lot more that I need to do to fully understand this knife. But for today, a good first look and a good first impression of this. I am very impressed. So, all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.